Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Neo X Fu and... Well, it's been a while. <laughs> Let me just say that much, I haven't recorded this in quite a while because before going to Otakon I did that huge recording session of almost two hours. I'm really glad I did that, although it seems it didn't last as long as I wanted to. So, last time, we got the magnetic gloves. <laughs> It still just tickles me to just use them. So now we can actually fight this guy, I believe? I cannot remember this mini-boss for the life of me, actually. Ow. I can't remember... Okay, yeah, we don't need to actually use the gloves at all. What we need to do is we need to hit that little red spot on his tail, wherever he went. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna try... Oh, missing. I'm gonna try missing. How about that? No, I'm gonna try using... a some bombs on this guy, because we haven't used bombs on a boss in quite a while, so. Oh, and of course he- I miss. No, no, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, he seems pretty easy to dodge at least. At the very least. But yeah. Ow, ow, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die on this guy, aren't I? He's only a mini-boss, come on. I see what you're doing here, I see what you're doing here, you can't trick me. Da-da-da-i. Uh. Uh, 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 ow. Yeah, it's been a while, so I'm kind of getting used to the game as I fight this mini-box. Which is probably not the best way to do this, but... Oh well, it'll be good for entertainment's sake, won't it? Uh, aha! Can't hit me. I'm too fast for you. Although not really at all. Uh, okay. Oh shoot, this one. No! Oh, I could've missed... I could've skipped that, but... I, I could have skipped that. I could have made it so he couldn't hit me, but I was too slow. Ow! And we die. Oh well. We'll come back and fight this guy in just a few seconds. Let's me save too, which is always useful. Now if I can just remember how to actually get back there. <laughs> okay, let's actually see if there's anything else we can use the magnetic gloves on before we get over there. Because I will be completely honest with you, I have no... The Unicorn Dungeon is one of those rare dungeons that confuses the hell out of me every time I go through it. Aha! There we go, we can get over there. And it doesn't help that I took a, a small hiatus instead of finishing the whole dungeon in one go. But to be fair, you heard me the last few times, I was getting pretty tired, so... Can you really blame me? Uh, okay, I was about to go over the gap with that, but that would have just completely killed me. Well, that's one of the useful things with the uh, magnetic gloves, that if you are going to kill yourself by dropping into a pit, you can just hit it again and not fall into that pit. It'll just bring you back the other way. Hmm. Oh, uh, you guys again. One of the interesting things with these guys and the magnetic gloves is you can do that. You can just steal the masks right off of them. Which, that's as far as enemies go until a certain other thing later in this very dungeon. That's probably going to be the only use offensively for the for the gloves. Well, again, this these balls really help to do damage, because as far as I know, they're an instant kill. Ooh, 100 rupees, that'll be nice. Especially since... Well, no, we, we bought everything in the, um, the store. The, uh, member's store, so that's not really going to be useful there, but... Oh well. It'll be useful somewhere else. Ow. No, no. Oh well. <laughs> I can... Oh, come on, I looked up these guys' names and everything because I'm so horrible with Zelda names. Those guys are probably some of my favorite enemies in the game, though, just because they have the absolute random... What is it called? Uh, the random pattern of movement, so... We call the order you slay the knights in. Oh yes, this 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 puzzle. All right, so we want to kill. I'm just gonna ow. I don't think we can use our boomerangs on them, can we? Oh, we can. Okay, I'm just gonna go from the top right counterclockwise. Make it easy. There we go. That helped a lot. Alright, so, that makes things easy. One rupee. Ten bombs. 
four ember seeds, and what could be the last one be? Oh, a small key. I was getting all pumped up for, ever for nothing. I mean, we can't complete the dungeon without it, but, you know, it'd be useful if they just up the ante a little bit more. You can never be careful with these with these walls. I mean, I just like checking them all because if there is a secret room and I find it and I've never found it before, then I'll just get really excited because well, it's a secret. Anything over here? Oh, oh, you guys. Um, all right. So, Rock Paper Mario actually reminded me of this. There's a trick to fighting these guys. Um, in this dungeon, it's not really that big of a deal because they seem to have a s kind of a set pattern. Uh, and I fall into the pit, of course. Um, but they can take on like six hits or something, and they do, I think, two, uh, an entire heart of damage. So instead of just waiting for that, you can either... I think the boomerang works on them. You can either hit them... Yeah, you can hit them with the boomerang and then take them out the easy way. Or you can use an ember seed on them, and it'll turn them into a Stalfos. Uh, one of the orange ones, which I believe they throw the bones at you, which makes them really annoying. It makes them actually one of the more difficult ones, because they can both jump and they'll both, they'll, th like I said, they'll throw the, uh, the bones at you. <gasps> Shoot, this puzzle. I forgot about this puzzle. Alright, um, as you can see, moving one of the statues moves the other, so what we need to do is if you look over here, there's a little switch right there. So what we need to actually do right now is we need to push this one to angle the other one onto the switch. So down there, over there, and up one. And there we go, that's how you open the door behind us. But we're not going back yet, so we'll just keep going. I just wanted to show that off because I would forget about it otherwise. Oh yeah. Shoot, shoot. Oh well. Alright, so I think it's, um... Oh, what's your name? Crinkson, I think it is, who showed me this. Um, these are actually, I guess, breakable blocks. They... Oh my god, how did I not figure that out when I was a kid? For the longest time, this was the biggest the biggest puzzle with me. I never knew how to open these things. I can't remember if there's a dungeon later on that has them that you have to actually get through them, but... And if they did, whenever I came back to this puzzle, I'd just forget about it, but... Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I forgot about that. It, it seems so simple now, but, like, for the longest time, I just think that those were, like, bundle up sheets of metal. Like, almost, uh, hay bale, except with sheet metal. Which I know is kind of ridiculous, but... Hey, I'm a ridiculous guy, so what do you want? <laughs> okay, um, this is death. Let's not go this way. That is suicide right there. Instead, let's go the safe route. And be able to... dive underwater with the button that's not the one I pressed. There we go, okay. I feel much safer going this way. Especially because those guys can't get after us. Uh, oh, and that was completely useless because, like I said, I forgot where we actually are in the dungeon. Alright, come here. Go on there. And... Especially because the Unicorn Dungeon... Is it the Unicorn Dungeon? What is it called? Where's our map? The Unicorn's Cave is just one of those dungeons where there's like five different ways you can go from any one place, and I just end up confusing them all, so. Not like it's that big of a deal, I mean, I got it eventually, didn't I? You'll just be backtracking for five minutes. Alright, so... Boomerang! Help us out a little! Yeah, that's one of the other things you can do with the boomerang. Um, these orange guys, again, I cannot remember their name, if you stun them with the boomerang, They'll just take two hits instead of splitting into the smaller guys. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother using, turning this guy into a style false. I'm just going to use the boomerang. Not like we had to go this way anyway, but might as well take care of all the enemies in the room. <laughs> Alrighty. Now let's find where ne we actually need to go. Well, I mean, most of that wasn't really pointless sidetracking since... 
we needed to um, actually go back there for the small key, but... Well, both small keys. We got two, didn't we? But about half of it was pointless sidetracking, so... There we go. Alright, now let's go take on this mini-boss. And hopefully do better. Except I already lost four hearts, so I don't know how I'm going to do better. Uh, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to take out the Pegasus Seeds, because that'll make it a little easier to dodge him. Plus, we got 50 of them, so... Ow. Well, it sh should have made it easier to dodge him. Hit and run! Ooh, ooh, no, 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 go up this way. Okay. Honestly, this guy is actually harder than the boss in this dungeon, too, which really doesn't make sense. I mean, he's not harder for... He's harder than the boss if you know what you're doing with the boss. If you don't know what you're doing with the boss, then this guy is about the same difficulty, but honestly, this boss is kind of a pushover. Well, you'll see. Which is funny, because uh, they have another, pretty much another version of him in um, Majora's Mask in, well, I'm not going to say where. For those of, oh, oh, okay, that's that pattern. See, I can never remember what his patterns are, either. Alright. Well, now that we actually know where we're going, we can just go up there. This this entire episode is just going to be me backtracking to this one boss, isn't it? Oh well. It's not that bad, I guess. How are we doing for time? We're, we're not bad. I'll, get, I'll give it one more shot, and we'll see where we are. Alright. Bring me over! No! Bring me over! Push me away! Ow. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Give me good news. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to sneeze while I'm fighting this guy. Oh, god. Don't sneeze. Okay, I think I'm good. Oh, come on. You put the bobble on the other side. Well, especially because some of his... Okay, there. that's this pattern. Some of his patterns just seem completely random, and then some of... Half the others are... you can actually tell what he's going to do. Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Uh, we're not gonna get a hit on him, are we? Like... I think it's... yeah, that one just... He tries to almost seek after you, and it's... Ah, no, don't hit me. Alright, this is going to be the surviving boss fight, because I just got hit again. Oh, god darn it! Never mind, it's not going to be the surviving bo boss fight. Uh, okay, I'm not ending this episode until I, f uh, until I defeat that guy. This I swear. Maybe I can get some hearts out of these pots. Uh. That, no, I wanted to take out that pea hat. Most annoying enemies in this game. Yeah, I know I said that say that about a bunch of these uh, a bunch of the enemies, but I absolutely hate the pea hats. I mean, if you could hit them in the air, it wouldn't be a big as big a deal. But no, you gotta wait for them to murder you before you can hit them. And ah, right, 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 right. <laughs> Alright. And here we go. See, you'd think because his tail was red that you can use the magnetic gloves on him, especially because we just got the magnetic gloves. Um, well, I guess he is a mi uh, mid-boss, so we... it's not one of those dungeon bosses where you have to use the item against him to be able to not be shit, but it'd be nice to be able to use the magnetic gloves more, because they're mostly just used for traveling around. Alrighty. Okay, I think this was the one where I was thinking that he was just going in random directions, but I kind of understand what that pattern is now. He's just doing... he's just kind of beveling the insides of the rectangle, rectangular room, which is kind of cool, actually. You don't see many enemies that do that. Oh, nice. We just passed right by him. Watch, we're not going to get hit once this time. Oh, well, now we are, now that I've said it, but... <laughs> Come on. 
Oh, come on. No, 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 no! Oh. Okay, th there we go. That's the one hit that I was talking about. <laughs> well, that's that's the pattern that I was talking about, too. When he, when he ends that um, spiral sequence and you go after him, if you hit his tail, he seems to just, like, track after you. There's no way to escape from him, which is kind of cheap, but... Whatever, we've got enough health to take it on, so... No! See? See? Well, that time he didn't track after us, I guess, but... Haha! -ha! There we go. Finally got this guy, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Miyoxfu. Take it easy. Alright, what's up here?